me. Alright. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just trying to eat some crisps, to be honest, mate. Cool. Yeah. Matt! Yep. Hi. Kofi, why are you saying hi? You've been hanging out for the last, like, three hours. Have we? Yes. For God's sake, what is it, Luca? We love you, Dad. Right, I mean, I love you too, mate, but I wouldn't class that as an emergency. Yeah, you probably right. Yeah, probably. Hang on, I definitely have more crisps than this. Kofi, have you touched these? No. Luca? Mm -mm. Right, well, I mean, someone's been eating my crisps, so... Fine, do you know what? I'll eat somewhere else. What the hell? Good morning and welcome to another video. And in the Netherlands, hanging out with the lads. Hey lads. Hey hi. Hello. <coughs> cool. Uh, now, as it's about two degrees and it's meant to rain all day, I figured I need a video I can do indoors. And so today, I'm gonna be eating the recommended daily allowance in McDonald's. <laughs> Now, it's probably going to be awkward, it's probably going to be quite hard to do, so I'm going to ask for two small things in return. Firstly, can you drop the video a like, because let's be honest, we're two minutes in and it's already sick. And secondly, if you're new to the channel and you're not already, can you subscribe, because my channel is amazing, so just like a logical thing to do. Now, let's talk numbers. The British Nutrition Foundation say that the average male needs approximately 2,500 calories a day. Within that, no more than 97 grams of fat and 31 grams of saturated fat, 333 grams of carbs, and the rest of the calories come from protein, which works out at around 74 grams. Oh, and 30 grams of fiber. So, they're gonna be my numbers for the day. I'm gonna try as hard as I possibly can to hit them. We're in McDonald's now. Obviously, need to get some breakfast. Let's make it happen. Breakfast, whoa, acquired. Um, now, obviously I'm in the Netherlands, so like the food options are gonna be slightly different. I'm gonna try and make it work around that. This is what I got. The berry muesli thing. Pancakes. With syrup, obviously. Coffee with milk and a water. Now, I'll put the numbers for this stuff on the screen, probably around there. Um, one thing I did do, one thing I didn't do is like plan this. I figured it'd be more fun just to kind of wing it as I go. And then also, I didn't really look at the numbers for my breakfast. I thought I'd get like whatever I felt like and then just try and make the rest of the day fit around that, you know? I feel like licking a yogurt lid makes you an absolute pervert, but at the same time, it's just like, I can't help it. Good muesli. Okay, I'm hungry. I want to eat this while it's hot. Oh my god, I've got my cutlery everywhere. I'm excited. Let's begin. Okay, breakfast done. That was good. I'm gonna put it out there and say that. Like, although it's not bad, I find the um, Dutch Stroop syrup not as good as the, you know, like the golden syrup you get in uh, English McDonald's. Calorie-wise, I'd say probably not too bad. I reckon I've probably got quite a lot to play with still, which is good news. Um, I'm gonna go now, see you back at home. Back home! It's actually a gross lie. I'm at my sister and brother-in-law's house, but this is my temporary home, right? So, deal with it. Cool tree, by the way. Quite a festive vibe up in here. They actually have like, they don't, I don't know, until recently, they don't have like a normal Christmas in the Netherlands. They have like a Sint Claus, Sinter Claus, like a weird, uh, controversial Christmas thing they do. Uh, I'm controversial in that I don't want to go into it, basically have like, yeah. I mean, look it up, it's pretty sketchy. Anyway, they, uh, they do it early, and then the actual Christmas day is like, not much happens, which is strange, but each to their own, you know? Um, anyway, they've all gone, they've left me here, I've been sat crying, but also looking at some numbers, kind of crunching some stats. I've been using the McDonald's app, which is very handy. Without that, I'd be friggin' struggling, so I can put in all my like meals and stuff and figure out what I'm having. Breakfast wasn't too bad. I think calories for the day aren't gonna be too hard to kind of work around. I think macronutrients are gonna be more of the issue. Uh, breakfast was actually fairly level on that front. There wasn't any macro, it wasn't like, you know, fat was really high or, or protein was low, it was fairly bad. So it means I've kind of got a reasonable amount to play with. I'm hungry. It's almost lunchtime. I can't go all out and get a massive meal because that's going to kill me for dinner. So I'm going to try and play it safe. God damn it! I'm on the wrong side of the car. Are you speak English? Yes. 
Sick, thank you. Um, can I please get a cheeseburger, a hamburger, some medium fries, and then just a large Coke Zero, please? Awesome. Then in the cheeseburger and the hamburger, can I get uh like just cheese and ketchup like none of the other stuff please so i know it's annoying just a weird guy yes please you can okay thank you thanks mate nice one thank you let's find a space i can eat my food in the car by myself like a freak all right is this suitable eating setup that stuff in the back is all lucas crap let's move that in case you missed it, we got medium fries, cheeseburger, hamburger, and a Coke Zero. Numbers for which will be on the screen, probably around there, I would imagine. Future Matt doing something along those lines. I think the whole thing is like under 900 cows. One thing I've like noticed already today is that I reckon if you did this five years ago, even probably like 10 years ago, like you'd get smashed on certain macros, whereas now, because of all the like health and like nutrition regulations, the McDonald's have obviously had to clamp down on stuff, and so the macros, the fat carbs and, and protein and stuff are, are like way more kind of balanced. With that said, sugar and sodium, like salt, still friggin' suck in like basically any fast food place. And so when I was looking at those guidelines today, um, trying to hit the sugar, I think the sugar was like 30 grams or so for a day, and the salt was like six grams. Trying to hit those numbers today would literally be impossible. I went through the menu and like, you'd have had to buy basically like muesli for every meal. So I sacked the sugar and the salt off before you kind of asked why I didn't include those. But every other macro we're going for. First cheeseburger down. Right, it looks like I'm hugging this bag. I'm really not, it's just that it's on the elbow rest thing, so I have nowhere else to put my arm. Right, what do you do when you only have a few little bits of fry left? You want to pour them in your mouth to save time and not get really salty, greasy fingers, but you also want to get ketchup on them? Final burger, I say final, second burger. I've only got two, so. I feel like the buns on these little burgers are like, they're almost like brioche, like a bit like, it's a bit like a cake, which just kind of freaks me out. Like people always say, because I always get a Big Mac with just cheese and ketchup, and people always say, Matt, why don't you get a double cheeseburger? It's the same thing, but like it's not, because I think you get this weird, like cakey bun that just, yeah, that upsets me. And we're done, and that was enjoyable but like nowhere near enough i think as the day gets on i'm gonna get hungrier and hungrier um i'm just gonna nail a large diet coke like that's definitely it's like a bad tip it's an effective tip for dieting but also a bad tip obviously drinking loads of like diet drinks is not a good idea because they're full of like weird chemicals and crap but at the same time if you're desperate um and you're trying to lose fat then if you drink like a massive diet coke because it's carbonated and it's got no sugar in it, it's going to fool you up, obviously not give you any calories. If so facto, you're going to lose weight. That's probably going to be my tactic today, just drink like loads of diet drinks. Anyway, I'm done. Catch you in a bit. Sick weather! Right, sirs. Okay, right. What are you doing? <laughs> a puddle here, right? We've come to the gym, aka there. AKA there's a theme park right there. Should we just sack it off and go on a roller coaster instead? Good plan. We can't, because it's like closed. Your, um... I like your out, your Appreciate food. it, mate. Thank you. No, um, your cold weather outfit. Yeah, not idea. It's about three degrees. Um, session's going to be back and biceps. It's going to be a quick one because it just is. Says with the visuals. Hashtag Let's says. Let's train. Training is done. That was good. And by good, I mean quick. And by quick, I mean quick. Let's go and get some more McDonald's. Update, I'm hungry, like very hungry. Bad news is it's like five to four, so way too early to get dinner. I have basically no calories left, but I don't care. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna find something. Says, get involved. Um, start here. Here in Dutch means here, just FYI. Let's go English. Eat in, 
see what ridiculously low calorie snacks McDonald's have. I'm betting they have none. Specials. Absolutely none of those are going to be low calorie. They're going to have to go for salads. Yeah, but I feel like they're still going to be bad though. And how do you know? I don't do know. Do they have it on them? I reckon you could have a look though. It's falafel low or side salad. That's going to be low calories, right? It'd be good for your macros. I haven't, I mean, I just let's gamble. That, that must be low calorie, surely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If it's not, then we'll just delete this clip. Drinks are always fine. What else is in the cafe? No, cold drinks. Let's go for a... Water? No. Low let's go calorie. for a... a far root. Get something different. They're all, they've all got calories in there. That's, they're all going to have calories in there. I've got no calories to spare. I'm going to have to go for a Coke Zero. Customise. How can you customise that? Worst customisation. Worst customisation I've ever seen. Uh, okay. Desserts. Oh, fruit bag. Absolutely, yes. Okay. <laughs> mandarin. What, are you going to buy a mandarin? Carrots. Get some carrots. £1.95 for some carrots. What's in there? Double espresso? No, I'm not getting a double espresso. Pastry. Right, this is it. I'm out. That was depressing. Um, there was like people getting croissants, people getting burgers and stuff, and I had to get this. To be fair, it actually looks quite big, but like also quite like hollow. Uh, run for what I've got: some carrots, a side salad, and then a medium Coke Zero Come. sauce dressing. I won't be using that to save all the calories I can. Mm. Good microwave. Better like a salad. Want it? Alright, thanks. I'll have a carrot. Well, it won't be. I mean, every singular calorie I can get. I think by tonight I'm going to be absolutely struggling. How many calories have you got left? Mm, I haven't worked it out yet, but I would estimate around maybe six, seven hundred for dinner. Not ideal. I don't really like carrots. I do. Thank you. You're welcome. If I can eat all these calories in one mouthful, you'd have to like the video. Are you going to speed but this up? I'm going to finish this. Um, just be sad to regret them. Catch you later on. Back home, that um, salad carrot combo filled me up for about 12.5 seconds. It's been like an hour and a bit. I've been distracting myself with work, but I now feel like I'm going to die. Like I'm ridiculously hungry. So I'm gonna have to go uh, hit my final meal of the day and just pray that it suffices. I've added up all the numbers from the day so far. They're looking something like this. Uh, which means that for my final meal, my dinner, I have approximately 900 calories, 35 grams of fat, 13 grams of saturated fat, 125 grams of carbs, 17 grams of protein, and 14 grams of fiber to play with. I mean, it's not a disaster. I guess that'll be something like my lunch. Uh, it could be worse. Oh, and it's about minus two and torrential rain outside, so I'm praying for milk delivery in this area. Hello. Yeah. Uh, do you guys do delivery? Do you guys do delivery? Are we going to do delivery? Can, can I can I order food to be delivered? Yes, but if I eat, not to be on the phone by McDonald's. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, if I eat, okay. Okay, thank you. Right, you're welcome. Right. Quickly help with the last bit of the tidying, then you can have it on. Two hours later. <laughs> What's up? Um, right, never order from Uber Eats in this specific part of the Netherlands. It's going to take six hours to come. I ordered it like an hour ago now, and it currently says Sandeep is on a bicycle. It has a picture of like a map, and Sandeep's like nowhere near our house. So Sandeep has currently got my friggin' cold McDonald's. He's riding ridiculously slowly along a ridiculously long road. It's like minus 20 degrees. That's going to suck. I'm going to... The ironic thing is, is that McDonald's is like five minutes away from here. Yeah, I, I literally could have walked to McDonald's and got it. About 20 times, I still had it before Sandeep. Sandeep, mate, hurry up! Have you gone out to it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Karen. Brilliant. So, not only. That's my food, mate. Oh, yeah, that's mine, front of the floor. Uh, not only did Sandeep take six hours to get here, he let a three year old child click the food. Also, I mean, that's grossly inaccurate, let's be honest. Thanks, Ollie. Oh, God, I need the camera. Okay, uh, food is here. Definitely not hot. I don't care. I would eat a human arm in my current state of hunger. Now, for some reason, when you order Uber Eats, it didn't really order everything. But I basically planned out what I wanted to get, and I couldn't order all the specific. 
Hey bro, couldn't order all the specific things. You coming up? Yeah. Is it your bedtime now? Uh, no. Mm, pretty sure it is. Uh, so I had to kind of order extra in order to get what I want. Zero, but I will then. Zero dose. Pardon? That was dead. In the carrot bag? Yeah. Till yours. I See ya. Yes, yeah, so basically I've ordered various meal combinations in order to get what I want and I'll take out what I can't eat. So, food I can eat, a cheeseburger, medium fries, six chicken nuggets, and a Coke Zero. Once again, because I'm a nice guy, I'll put the numbers on the screen for you. And yeah, I'd love to uh, sit around and chat to you about McDonald's, but my hunger is such that I'm simply not going to do that. So, time lapse will be commencing in approximately three, two, one. Done. <clears throat> and that was so good. Like, it wasn't. It was cold and stale, but I don't care. I was so hungry. The enjoyment level was very high. Um, right, I'm going to go and reflect on the day's eating, and I'm checking with you in a bit. Reflection has taken place, AK. It's been about seven and a half minutes since I finished eating, and I'm still hungry. It does not bode well for the rest of the evening. Laws, any thoughts? <laughs> Cool, thanks bro. Um, so the numbers are in. The final numbers for the day as a whole are gonna appear approximately now there. I did well. I did, I'm gonna say I did very well. I reckon um, this would have been harder to do a few years ago, like I said, because... <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Get out of this front room now. Um, because like back in the day, sugar and saturated fat would have been sky high, but nowadays it's surprisingly low. Like I was way surprised by the saturated fat. Like. I actually had a comfortable amount to spare. Uh, calories, I went slightly over. Fat, slightly over. Uh, saturated fat, slightly under. Carbs, slightly under. Protein, slightly over. Fiber, slightly under. What, what are you doing? <laughs> You're an absolute lizard, mate. Ollie, can you get her under wraps? She's embarrassing herself. I mean, I challenge you to get more fiber from McDonald's because their food is very low in fiber. But like I said, saturated fat, surprisingly good. Protein, that is incredibly off-putting, protein. Uh, I mean, protein is always good because like, it's meat, you know, even if it is dubious meat. But that's that. My summary of the day as a whole would be sparse. Like, I would like to eat more food, but I guess that's, that comes with the territory because the guy Daily Allowance ah, is designed for... Sparse? That's not a Matt Does Fitness word. Yes, it is. Well, it is now. It is, mate. It is now. Just added it to the repertoire. AKA much, AKA light, <laughs> AKA... The interference level in this end clip is high. I'm just going to put it out there. Um, obviously, in that number of calories, typically wouldn't be great, but eating McDonald's is worse because McDonald's are classes like empty food, like hollow calories, like you eat them and they do not fill you up. If you were to get two and a half thousand calories from like raw food, like potatoes and chicken breast and broccoli, you'd be way more full than you are doing it from McDonald's. Lesson being, you can fill your macros and calories with bad food and it's fine, but you're not gonna be full. You're more likely to eat more food and become fat in the long run and you're probably gonna get long-term skin issues and, I don't know, maybe underlying health issues, who knows. This video's taking a turn for the worse. It's getting depressing, let's just cut it off there. I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. If you have enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see similar stuff, like maybe hitting the daily allowance with like other uh, fast food places or food sources. Let me know in the comment section. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> You've ruined my outro.